Hello, I'm Sarah Ann Shockley, and this is The Pain Companion, chapter by chapter. Chapter 32, Having Compassion for Yourself. When we speak of compassion, we most often refer to it as a feeling we reserve for others, others who are less fortunate, others who have lost someone or something dear to them. We are rarely encouraged by our religions or philosophies to have tenderness and loving kindness toward ourselves. Yet it is vital to become our own best friends when we are living in pain. The first thing to accept about what you are undergoing is that your emotional reactions to your situation are not wrong or unnecessary. Absolutely nothing is wrong with you for feeling the way you feel. You are not overreacting or oversensitive if you find yourself often in tears or filled with rage and frustration at what happened or is happening to you. You're not weak or silly or self-pitying. It's normal and natural to feel strongly. Something big has happened in your life to cause the degree and tenacity of the pain you are in. It might have been sudden or it might have developed slowly over time. Either way, the change in your life is real. The pain is real and your feelings are real. Having compassion for yourself means allowing yourself to feel the deep emotions that arise from living in pain. And once you have acknowledged and felt them fully, then to let them go. Besides allowing your strong feelings about your difficult situation, please understand that you are not wrong for being in pain. This is so important to understand and to agree with within yourself. It's very hard to heal when you're fighting with yourself. Likewise, remaining in pain for some time does not mean that you are a failure. You are always doing your best. Sometimes that looks like getting up and taking a walk. And sometimes it looks like staying in bed. Often we find ourselves the hardest to truly love. Yet one of the things that pain demands from us, if we are to move beyond it, is to find a way to care for ourselves by holding ourselves gently and seeing ourselves with kinder eyes.